Welcome to Creative Writing Magic. My name is Randy Whiteside, and today we're going to answer the question, what is a metaphor? And how is it different than a simile? Let's get started. So a metaphor is considered a literary device. Okay, that's nice. What's a literary device? Well, you can think of a literary device as a creative writing technique that writers use in order to make their story or their writing more interesting. A metaphor is just one example out of hundreds. Point number two. A metaphor is an implied comparison between two unrelated things, people, objects, animals, you name it. We'll get more into examples in a minute, but the important piece to remember here is that it is an implied comparison which means that the comparison is not explicitly or clearly stated for the reader. If it was explicitly stated, that would be considered a literary device called a simile. We'll get more into that later, but for now, just remember, it is an implied comparison. Point number five. The purpose of a metaphor is to strengthen your writing by showing a comparison. And finally, point number six. By giving your reader a comparison, it helps your writing become more interesting to read. A good way to remember what is implicit and what is explicit is metaphors do not use the words like or as when they're making a comparison, whereas similes do use the words like or as when they're making a comparison. We'll get more into this in the examples next. Okay. Now that we've covered the definition, let's get into the fun part, metaphor examples. Let's see if you remember, fill in the blank. A metaphor is a blank comparison. I'll wait. That's right, an implied comparison. Since it's implied, we cannot use the words like or as when we do our comparison. So let's get into our first example. Frank is a bear. This is a metaphor that immediately gives the reader an image of Frank in their mind. He is probably a big guy, and he may or may not be extremely hairy. Our second example of a metaphor is Carter is a snake. So without saying anything else about Carter, the reader would probably paint Carter as a sly person based on this metaphor. Do you see how effective a metaphor can be in making your writing more interesting? Okay, let's move to the third example. Our third example of a metaphor is the classic saying, it's raining cats and dogs. So without saying anything else about the rain, the reader immediately pictures heavy rain in their mind. So as you can see in all three examples, since we use metaphors, we did not have to explain to the audience that Frank is large, Carter is sly and the rain is heavy, we allowed the magic of the metaphor to paint a picture for the reader. Okay, next, as promised, let's talk about the metaphor's sister, the simile. Similes are like a metaphor, however, they are explicit in their comparison. This is done by using the words like or as in the comparison. Let's look at a few examples. The first one is, if you're describing Frank as a big guy, a simile can be used such as, Frank is like a bear. If you're describing Carter as a sly and sneaky person, a simile can be used such as, Carter is as sly as a snake. And if you're describing heavy rain, a simile can be used such as, the rain is falling like cats and dogs. So as you can see, the simile ties the comparison together explicitly with the words like or as. Okay, next let's talk about a famous story example. Most of us are familiar with Aesop's fable classic, The Tortoise and the Hare. The story itself could be considered an allegory, but that's another topic for another video. Let's take a look at the individual characters in this story. So as the story goes, one day, a hare made fun of a tortoise for his slow pace, and the hare boasted about his own great speed in running. 
Upset by his boasting, the tortoise challenged the hare to a race. At first, the hare raced ahead, and then the hare decided since he was so far ahead, he would just simply take a nap. Meanwhile, the tortoise continued to plod along. When the hare woke up, he noticed that the tortoise had finished and won the race. Aesop was able to teach the old adage, slow and steady wins the race, through these beautiful characters using metaphors. In the story, the hare would be seen as a metaphor for a person who is overconfident and assumes, while the tortoise could be seen as a metaphor for someone who perseveres without being distracted. So do you notice how Aesop used these animals to imply these comparisons? That is the magic of a metaphor. Okay, now let's talk about applying metaphors into your own writing. Step one, start simple. Metaphors can get pretty deep, so let's start small here. Step two, when introducing your character, think of an animal that has similar characteristics. We spoke earlier about how a bear has similar characteristics as a large man. Step three, instead of describing your character, simply write your character's name is your chosen animal. For example, Frank is a bear. And as a reminder, do not use the words like or as. If you do, that would be considered a simile. Okay, well, great, congratulations. You are now a metaphor writer. As you get comfortable with writing metaphors, you can build an entire story using them. So now that you're a metaphor writer, I'd like to hear from you. If you like, feel free to share your metaphors that you just wrote in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. If you think others would like it, please share. If you'd like to see more of these videos, click subscribe and then click on the notification button. And as always, remember, magic lives in your imagination. I'll see you in the next video.